Top 10 Sport Style Supercars on the Road Today Some of these combine elegance, brutality, and function. One thing is certain, you won't forget it when you see one in person. Beauty lies in the eye of the beholder, and this also extends to car design. Despite the numerous regulations, the upper echelon of performance vehicles continues to amaze us with design decisions, made in the name of performance, function, or just because it looks cool. There are three types of beauty, brutal, functional, and elegant. 10. McLaren Senna Slash Sabre In 2018, McLaren introduced a crazy-looking, more track-oriented, non-hybrid version of the P1. Called the Senna, it was named after the legendary racing driver who raced for McLaren between 1988 and 1993. The Senna featured radical aerodynamics with function completely taking over form. All surfaces were optimized for maximum downforce, which reduced top speed from the P1's 217 miles per hour, 350 kilometers per hour to 208 miles per hour, 335 kilometers per hour. The Senna and its derivatives is the only road car to feature almost entirely transparent doors. The Sabre is a version of the Senna, exclusive to the US market. 9. Pagani Huayra Imola Since its introduction, in 2011, the Pagani Huayra has had many iterations, each of which is stunning to look at and equally capable. Named after the Italian racetrack, the Huayra Imola, introduced in July 2019, is the road-going version that's closest to the Huayra R in terms of both styling and capabilities. It features a radical body kit with enough ground effects to make a Group B rally car look plain. With 827 horsepower, 616 kilowatts, and 811 pound-feet, 1,100 newton meters, from a 6.0-liter twin-turbo AMG V8, it's also one of the most powerful versions of the car. 8. Koenigsegg Jesko Like Gordon Murray, Swedish inventor, Christian von Koenigsegg will go down in history as one of the greatest automotive engineers. Among the latest models from the Swedish carmaker is the Jesko. Named after Christian's father, the Jesko is the final expression of the brand's pursuit of record speeds. There are two versions of the car attack, focused on downforce, and absolute, focused on top speed. In Jesco Absolute guys, it is capable of 310 miles per hour, 499 kilometers per hour, while the attack features a ginormous, U-shaped rear wing. 7. Gordon Murray T.50 From McLaren F1's, Gordon Murray comes a true spiritual successor. The Gordon Murray Automotive, GM8, T.50 is Murray's vision of a modern-day F1. It not only resembles the founder of the hypercar segment, but it features the same maniacal level of engineering and attention to detail. The 4.0-liter, normally aspirated, Cosworth V12, produces 663 horsepower, 488 kilowatts, 344 pound-feet, 467 newton-meters, and revs to 12,100 rpm. While one of the more understated designs on the list, the T.50 features an aerodynamic fan at the rear, inspired by the Brabham BT46B Formula 1 car. 6. Bugatti Sentadiasi Car brands known for their exquisite, high-performance machines always celebrate their anniversaries by coming up with epic models. For Bugatti's 110th anniversary, the company introduced a model based on the Bugatti Chiron, limited to only 10 copies. Dubbed the Sentadiasi, Italian for 110, its design was inspired by Romano Ardioli's Bugatti EB110, which as the name hints, commemorated the 110th anniversary of Ettore Bugatti. Laying Bugatti's 90s design language onto a Chiron bore interesting results. 5. McLaren Speedtail In 2020, McLaren attempted to create a spiritual successor to the legendary McLaren F1. It resulted in the birth of the Speedtail. Unlike most other cars on the list, its design was all business. It was conceived as a top-speed car, which is why its sleek design incorporates a long, swooping rear for superior stability at very high speeds. It resulted in a ridiculously low drag coefficient of 0.16 cd, 
which is part of the reason why it is capable of 250.4 miles per hour, 403 kilometers per hour, according to McLaren. 4. Ferrari Daytona SP3. It seems reimagining classic race cars by using a modern platform is a winning recipe these days. Since 2008, Ferrari's special projects gives you the option of commissioning a one-off model, specifically to your preference. Eventually, the outfit started producing limited edition models and the Daytona SP3 is the latest from the Iconet series. Based on the La Ferrari, its design evokes the 1960s race cars like the 330p4 and 312p while taking the Pininfarina P4-5 design into a new age. 3. Lamborghini Veneno When it comes to mad styling, we can't go without at least one Lamborghini. Based on the Aventador bones, the Lamborghini Veneno is a much more radically styled version of the car, produced in very limited quantities, for coupes and nine roadsters. In terms of styling, the Veneno has one foot in the future and one in the past. It combines elements from other Lamborghini concepts as well as race cars. We see Y-shaped forms, which a decade later, we see on the Sion. The rear wheel arches are reminiscent of the Countach and Diablo while the engine cover is similar to what we see on the Diablo GT1. 2. De Tommaso P72 De Tommaso is reviving itself with a bang and in 2022, its first model in nearly 30 years, started production. The De Tommaso P72 is a neo-retro, mid-engine hypercar, inspired by a 1960s De Tommaso race car, called the P70. Jowen Wong is responsible for the design, which incorporates fluid forms, reminiscent of 1960s Lemons race cars. In truer de Tommaso tradition, the car is powered by a Ford the 5th 8. More specifically, it is the 5.0-liter, Coyote V8 that has been supercharged by Roush Performance. 1. Apollo Intensa Emozione. We are already setting the bar high with this one. The Apollo Intensa Emozione I is an epic collaboration between Apollo Automobili GmbH and manufacturer Automobili Torino MAT, the people who made the F430 based launch a new Stratos. The design theme revolves around nature, insects, and marine animals, and has been optimized for maximum airflow. Thanks to the extensive use of carbon fiber for the body and monocoque chassis, this mid-engine masterpiece weighs just 2,755 pounds, 1,250 kilograms. I hope to inspire you and help you learn more about your favorite theme. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think.